what's going on, DSG? It's your boy Donna Bradley back at y'all another video. Today we've got the time Goku and Vegeta stop Metal Cooler from conquering Namek. Now, uh, you know, Dragon, just Dragon Ball fans, we 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 in on this one. It was it was a uh, hell of a movie. You know what I'm saying? Especially when like you know the, the 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 million coolers came out and they had all that problems with just one, and he's over there just like, but how? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they're lucky that it wasn't Cooler's intent to just kill them straight off. He just got greedy and wanted, like, power and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because if he just wanted to, like, just straight off kill him, like, that would have... It would have been wraps for the both of them. The only thing that saved him is the fact that he wanted them alive. But we here. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that there's social media. We here without any further ado. Three, two, one, click. Oh, yeah. Oh, now yeah. Now, I really got to talk about Cooler's return. He has me, me weak. Bro got cooked in the first movie and came back to be a Decepticon with Shadow Clones, basically Ultron. And the Shadow thing about Clone. that wow. is, now if you get cooked, you got nobody to blame because it's a whole bunch of yous. You're really just gonna have to take your L's and say GG's and walk off. But shit really starts off with Goku and his crew heading off to Namek. But they look at the screen and see that someone already has their mittens on it. And look at that guy Piccolo. He in this bitch like he about to suit up. I suit the fuck up in this bitch! And I'd be just like him because Frieza and his brother are running shit on Namek like Kobe and Shaq. See if I'm Piccolo and becoming Mr. Miyagi or the Namekian Batman. Like the shit, bro, you gotta Batman. have some type of legacy for the Namekians because they don't deserve this. They're literally beyond vegan. Their diet is straight water and ice, and they what can't box that? for shit. They're the definition of what, what I do. do. You know Cooler really a villain when he got the elderly doing the 100 meter dash. That's bro crazy, out there running bro. like it's that one SpongeBob episode where they <laughs> called Texas <laughs> and Sandy was out there chasing him down. Look at him. Wow. He needs a hero. Someone please. He gets dragged in front of the Namekians, and one of them in the line was like, that's, that's a, a great, great idea. idea. Fuck this walking shit. Hits his oh. fake ass feet and gets dragged too. That ain't <laughs> he started to say, that's a great idea. I'm over here walking. Hey, babe, hey, yo, come get me. Come here. Come here, nigga. I'm tired. <laughs> So after watching his people get cooked, Piccolo's twin said, nah, fuck that. Takes the handcuffs with no chains and breaks out of it. And look how son hit the roll out the line. Yeah, with the pull up like that, he gotta be a part of Piccolo's immediate family. Dude. Shit was so clean, I almost believed he was about to do something. But nah, almost. he flies over almost. there and the bot catches him one hand and then he just tosses him down. His coldness was short lived. Now he in that dinner, dinner. Fortnite knock position. Someone get him a med kit. The bot's getting ready to thirst him. But right as he fires at him, Gohan pulls up and knocks the beam out the way. You know, Gohan ain't about to have it for nobody that looked like Piccolo. Hold on, let me fix my chair. He's like, ain't no way nobody who looked like my second daddy about to get boomed in front of me. Sorry, sorry. I can't handle that kind of PTSD from, from when Nappa did it. <laughs> Creating the smoke and getting him out of there. And this is when I knew there was going to be a bunch of IG flicks in this movie for Goku. Because when the smoke clears, his ass is just what? standing there, staring. And honestly, it was so clean, not even Krillin could ruin the moment. <laughs> Look at him, putting up the deuce when we know he's not going to put in pain. Cooler hey, sitting there hey, unimpressed because hey, hey, he knows relax. he got a better when intro. Frieza, when Frieza Peak pulled, wait, when Frieza pulled up to Earth, line up and they all spawned. When Frieza pulled up on some Resurrection F shit, everybody, everybody got active, my boy. Let's go. Master Roshi had to remind Krillin about how strong he really was. Like, Krillin, bro, you've been out here fighting all these other niggas. I ain't say you've been winning. And so you, you done got your ass handed to you a few times, but you must have picked up something, goddammit. You know what I mean? So quit, quit playing on Krillin A. On in left and right. And then Cooler's gonna come in and part them like the Red Sea. He's walking in and he's just straight up glistening. glistening. Look like he dipped himself in movie theater butter. Even had Piccolo like, nah. What is that? That luster. That luster. <laughs> The time for introductions are. I'd have had to get the shades on. Like, hold on, nigga. I know we supposed to be here to fade, but why you so bright for real? Can you turn that shit down just like a little bit, my nigga? Are over. They are ready for the boxing to commence. Cooler sends his army of bots to go attack, and I want you to guess out of these three who gets cooked first. I'll give you a hint. He's bald and short. Piccolo and Gohan take off just fine, but when Krillin does it, they sit his ass down immediately. Yeah, the script writers are in the studio straight giggling. New you knew they was, bro. He's in there just dying like, ah, they thought Krillin was going to get active. <laughs> From this point on, his ass was about to be comic relief. Not even Gohan, who spawned in seven years ago, got sat down like that. He's out there putting up a better performance, hitting attacks and dodging. He didn't do any damage, but hey, at least he's not out there at eating rocks like Krillin. Moving. They got three on Piccolo right now, and there's clearly a malfunction in their programming. Because no way they gave Piccolo three, and Krillin got four bodies on Let's be serious. <laughs> Yo, why is he being so factual right now? Like, amongst that don't make sense. Like, why is this happening? Like, hey, this is why I say, like, sorry, you got to give Krillin respect, boy. Because he still was going at him, though. 
He's that boy got sat immediately down the minute the beginning of the fight, but he's still out there, man. Quit playing with his name. Let's go. Are you serious? You must have mistaken Brody for One Punch Man or something. I know they could look alike from afar, but come on now, that is simply not, not him. him. Krillin tries to cook with what little screen time he has left, and it's not Ow. looking good. The bots who have Kawhi Leonard's personality downloaded are just looking at him with disappointment. So yeah, his performance is looking bad right now, but Piccolo ain't safe either, cause the same shit happens to him, and he's just like, nah. And then the cameraman gets mad close to him to document that embarrassing moment. Piccolo wanted nah, to tone him back up so bad. That shit had him sweating, so he had to think of something fast to get rid of the embarrassment. So he went to Old Reliable, threw off the turban and cape like it was the problem. What did I do? The camera pans to go on though, and it's looking like he's about to keep that losing record right. on Namek. Go on getting smacked around with that green background is all too familiar. Tony's <laughs> also getting his shit rocked though as he crashes into Gohan. So Piccolo's just like, shit, I'm <laughs> crashing to Gohan, Gohan like, hey bro, handle your mans, bro. God damn. <laughs> Might as well join him. But he didn't get bitched or anything like go on and Krillin. He just slowly descends down. He had something to say to Yo, this, them, him, bitch. But he didn't get bitched. Having this clip in there for that, they didn't get bitched. So that's, that's, that is a crazy clip to have It's at this moment. This moment, this moment is crazy, bruh. Like, go watch my, uh, the boys review. Go watch my, the boys review, bruh. It, 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 it's all about. <laughs> Bitched or anything like go on and Krillin, he just slowly descends down. He had something to say to Krillin though. He just like, hey Krillin, not gonna lie, they're putting four on you and three on me is ludicrous. Man, stop hating. Is what Krillin internally screamed as Piccolo flies away to cook the Kawhi Leonard's. And he's out there taking multiple out at a time. Had me saying my fault, OG. OG. Maybe it was the case. Nah, it's because they wasn't hitting him with them yeets, you feel me? They was like doing regular punches and jabs. They was like, nah, you have to put absolutely everything you have into each hit. That's why you see this nigga cocking back like that. Look at him. And he's out there look taking him. multiple out of... See, look at how far back this nigga arm is, bruh. Like, they said we got to key in and straight. Yes, of these niggas, for real. At the time, had me saying my fault, OG. OG. Maybe it was the cape and turban. If that's what it takes to make a move like that, that better be a mid-game power-up animation for Piccolo and Sparky Zero. As Piccolo is cooking up, we see science at play. The simple law of motion creates more motion. And now, all of a sudden, they have the ability to catch a body, too. Shit didn't last long, though. As we see, they couldn't hang. They get captured and sent away, which basically is easier for started breaking them or robots was like oh shit hold up no 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 nah, take them to pack them up pack them up we can't have this we can't have that piccolo he was out there shrieking got 30 kills without dying so he unlocked the tactical nuke and now that krillin and going are gone he can unleash it treats the whole area like how the avengers treat new york and fucking boom the whole area done look at the crater this man left he absolutely you know what's crazy about that? All of that, right? You see the crater, but when Vegeta did it, right? Right? See, when 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 Vegeta did it, not only did he not leave a crater like that, that nigga died. So, like, what what is this saying for real? We made sure he didn't get dropped in this movie. I'll tell you that. But now it's time for the main course. Goku versus Cooler in that shiny rarity. It starts off with Cooler catching Goku's punch. And yeah, my boy coming in different this time. He ain't come here to play. That performance in that last ah! movie was absolutely disappointing. Like, Man's had a whole that. new form just to still get worked by Super Saiyan. They start throwing hands in an invisible elevator though. And Goku finds an opening and grabs his tail. As he throws him, he lets out a little giggle. Which causes Cooler to get enraged and start chasing him down. This was all a part of Goku's plan though. Bait him and catch him off guard. But once he hits him, he notices Cooler is not phased. And knew that smirk couldn't mean anything good. You're like, hold on, I thought they figured this part out. We just gotta hit him really, really hard, right? Hold on, wait, whoa, 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 hold on now. You, you, ain't, you ain't tell me you was out here bit like that. I knew you was built different, obviously, because you ain't looking the same as you was before, but I didn't know you, I thought it was a literal term, you know what I'm saying? Not like, he built different, you feel me? That's all, that's all, just clarification. So he tried to keep that Cobra Kai mentality of striking it first, and it's clearly not working. Cooler felt bad, so he had to hit him with the stop. This isn't you. Stop. Treating his ass <laughs> like Bruce Banner. <laughs> he then proceeds to give him a mean three-piece combo with no biscuit. Starting it off with a knee, making Goku hit the Iron Man. Then he hits him with a gut check, stretching his back out, pause, and spikes him to the ground. That boy Goku hit the floor like, Okay. When I came down. <laughs> 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 Cooler didn't care, care about the pain he was Don't feeling care. though. Up in the finishing move, two minutes into the fight, and throws it at him. But clips, Goku's man. not dying in two minutes though, we know this. He not sorry. Uses instant transmission to get up behind him, and he's posted up like the boogeyman. 
He starts yapping and flexing that he learned this new technique called instant transmission. And Kula like, just like, like, oh, you thought one. you was special? I could do that shit too. Those words had Goku perplexed. He wasn't ready to get hit with his own move. He came up and smacked <laughs> the taste out of his mouth. Had Goku contemplating if he's really like that. He gets kicked <laughs> up and makes Kula turn at the Madam Web audience. And Goku tries to sneak him back. And the point of this whole... Yo, I just actually recently saw Madam Web streaming and i gotta say it wasn't that bad i didn't think it was just like literally the reviews got me to like not see it in theaters i was just like dang it's just for real, for real but i knew i was gonna see it because like obviously like if it can in any way shape or form kind of somewhat even be connected to like spider-man depending on how sony's gonna move and how disney's gonna move with sony i just try to keep my my shit up to date just in case you know what i'm saying it wasn't great but it wasn't as bad as people were saying they, that movie got shit on that and um that one and uh, uh, um, Captain Marvel, the last Captain Marvel, those two movies got shit on, and I don't think they was as bad as people were saying. I, was, uh, people, I was people mad or just feeling different about an all girl movie? I don't know. It wasn't as, like I said, it wasn't great, but I don't think it was as bad as what motherfuckers were saying. But we move. The exchange is that they're spamming instant transmission, but shit just looks like normal Dragon Ball Z. Nothing sure, changed. All does. they did was step back, and I guess it's whoever was writing the script understood that, so they decided to give them their own version of the Speed Force, which is why they got this infrared look. I'm crying. They think this Flash versus Zoom. Look at Cooler. He even hitting the full Flash form. He catches up to Goku, takes him out the animation, and uses it. Which is interesting because the way that that was explained to us was that. My man's deep particleizes and then the particles move at whatever speed to where they going. So I don't even know how you can have a physical form while you're doing that. But alright, you move. Head to break the rock in front of him. Then he tosses him away and goes up to hit him with that knee of justice. And I thought he did it to him for a second. This frame had him looking crazy. But instead it was revealed that he caught that shit and uses it to reintroduce Super Saiyan. Even Cooler had to take a step back to admire the view. This gotta be some type of place. But now it's time for round two. And I'm gonna be honest, when I watched this for the first time, I was fully expecting a fifth form metal cooler to show up, but they really just didn't do it. Hop in that rider zoom and said no. They're boxing though. And Goku gets a clean right in, but again, it was ineffective. Cooler then proceeds to kick him out the frame. And look at that form, bro. Yeah, not gonna lie, don't ever invite him to a kickball game. But a form like that, you ah! launching that shit straight to orbit. Even me, a retired Hall of Fame kickball player at recess can't compete wow. with that. But yeah, this, Goku's this flying off and Cooler chases him down and kicks him again. And then he pulls out the forbidden move, hits him with the spirit of hey, pushing him through the rocks. The and Goku's of... just like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. And he came back on a mission. Keep the game face. Kua tries to block and Goku breaks right through, severing his arm and giving him the superhero ass frame. Goku said, hold on, I ain't done yet though. I gotta hit this landing too. And rolls right into the fighting stage. <laughs> There was no time for celebration though, cause Cooler regenerates like a symbiote made out of vibranium, completely rebuilding his arm from scratch. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. I just see, see, honestly, if I was in Dragon Ball, I'd have so much problems with them niggas. Like, I'm like, somebody please tell me why after Frieza everybody can regenerate now. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Cell was an android that had Piccolo Cell so he could regenerate, and now you have up like Majin Buu's just a whole ass toffee. You know what I mean? Like, what? Can you? Can we knock it off, please? <laughs> I don't want to see a universe where Dr. Zero and Cooler link up because if they get in that lab together, oh. they'd make the most OP character in history. Metal Might cell. even surpass Boo in what bullshit it could do. The camera pans up and we see Bro is just randomly glistening again. And that's another bad sign for Goku. Catches him off guard with the TP and aims right for the stun. He Woo! started turning into SpongeBob as he flips him over and seasons him, grabbing his leg and tossing him away. Flipped him over and season him. First Goku hits the smooth game. recovery though, right, holding on, ah! him, grabbing his leg right and tossing him away. Go. Sorry, he did a whole shit. To babe. SpongeBob as he flips him over and see that that the flip into the kick, bro. Listen, and I feel like that's just bad because he how fast he was spinning. I, I'm gonna go ahead and believe that Cooler wasn't even trying to aim for this nigga whole ribcage side area, and he was just gonna kick the shit out of him. And it just because of the way that Goku was spinning, it just happened. To be in one hell of a critical spot. Like, damn. All right. He's into it, grabbing his leg and tossing him away. Goku hits the smooth recovery, though. <laughs> holding onto that attack stance like it was going to change the outcome. Yeah, that shit ended up being a slight inconvenience. Delayed Cooler's attack for one second. Then he's just like. <laughs> but anywho. 
and gets the blast. Goku's clean with the block stone, deflecting everything and getting right up in his grill. Goku did all that for nothing though, and starts to get choked out by Cooler. I was talking to one like in the middle, but nigga, did your hand hurt? Because like, look, I understand they superpower and they got all that shit, man. But you hitting a metal motherfucker, and there is no give. Like when the when they was doing that to the other robots, like they felt that. You know what I mean? Pick what was it, all of them. Uh, 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 Gohan, Krillin, they was like, yo, hold up, nigga, wait a minute, why you, why you don't hit, but so hard, like, <laughs> that boy Goku needed to hear him, and thankfully Vegeta decided to get out the house in this movie, because Goku would have been cooked, came in and kicked the shit out of him, had his face looking crazy, and he got him leaning, but the hatred was at an all-time high for Vegeta here, this cool ass intro was all we're gonna get from him. And you know what, bro? I've made my peace with that. Shit was basically over as soon as it started. Go Super Saiyan, talk some shit, runs in, and gets Yanked. boxed. So, shit is like clockwork at this point. It is, bro, because that was just crazy disrespectful work. Because Goku had been going back and forth. They doing all of this extra shit. And then Vegeta just gets there and just gets disrespected. All the way smack one punch. Dude. Like, come on, bro. Saying, talk some shit, runs in, and gets boxed. Shit is like clockwork at this point. But you know Vegeta, man. They don't let him go down in one hit. They make him suffer and embarrass himself. He comes back in with all this energy, lands two kicks, and gets hit with the WWE takedown, putting him in excruciating pain. And Goku couldn't sit there and watch anymore. As much as he knows Vegeta loves his ones. I'm sorry. The way my man's edited that scream for when his mouth got grabbed. Now, y'all know that when you get your whole face grabbed you lose the fight this ain't a whole face grab but this is this is still definitely disrespect because you you still you still grabbed your mouth you know what i mean face grab like you gotta have they gotta have the whole thing this is like half you know what i mean but this is still like shut your shit up little boy type shit you feel me Cause he and Goku about to couldn't get sit there and watch anymore. As much as he knows Vegeta loves his ones, he just had to save him. Kicks Cooler out the way before he blasts him. And in this frame, you could really see how Cooler's a fiend. Look at him. He's already up and running to sleep Vegeta. The hatred runs deep. Not even Goku back up. He's still recovering from his last save. Cooler enters the instant transmission dimension. And we see he was really trying to give Vegeta that cartoon yeah. bump on his head. Nah, he was trying to but Goku's clutch. He gets him out of the animation and has him tackled on the floor. And I'm not going to hold you yeah, this frame. Is looking away. crazy. I'm gonna need a big pause on that one, bro. And damn, Goku's really a great teammate. Back to back saves is kind of tough. If I was cooler, I'd be angry as hell because I just missed out on two kill opportunities. But guess who's the angriest out of all of them? Vegeta, the one that got saved. He just like, hey, fuck both y'all. Had Goku on his 57. They both dip out of there because clearly this man got CT. And I'm not even mad that Cooler spun the block in 0.2 seconds to kick him. He ends up punching him straight to Goku. And oh no, nah, look at how vile Crazy. this frame really is, bro. Crazy. Son can't even take a regular L. Like, this is really some next level violation. The writers make sure he can never win a group chat argument ever again. Ever Cooler again, hits him bro. with the silent finisher, though. Sends Diddy miss a cross and it ends up in a huge explosion. <laughs> Sends what? All of my ribs. What? I think it says Sends what? I think it says Sid Diddy missed. Cooler hits him with the silent finisher, though. Sends Diddy miss a cross. Why is it that? You know, honestly, it reminds me of the shit that uh, uh, Vegito or Gogeta, whichever one, used on uh, Janemba. And it ends up in a huge explosion. And after that attack, Cooler's just off in the distance, walking in slow motion. Bro thinks he's in the edit. Goku turns to Vegeta and looks at him like this. And right then and there is when it was official. His ass is getting jumped. They fly out in full speed with this power of friendship ass attack and it breaks them into three pieces. But of course, the regeneration starts to kick in. And this is where the most unexpected thing in Dragon Ball happened. Vegeta decides to key spam him and it actually worked. It blew the metal cooler to smithereens. You know what's fucked about that though? <laughs> is that they still can't give Vegeta that win because even though it worked, it didn't. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you get it to work, fine, but that it's not gonna be the you know what i mean like because this shit was how they did that man because yeah vegeta is the epitome of when you start the key spam that's raps for you and your whole crew you know what i'm saying he he personified that so when a key when a key spam works for mans you you would think hey good job but no 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 gave you that for no reason greens <laughs> millions this of shit was almost too good up. to be true it, it was finally it's over as fall but little did they know that it wasn't over Goku, who's on like 2 HP, looks up and sees that there's another metal cooler, alive and well. 
just up there posing for the gram. They all walk up simultaneously and they just start blinging in the distance. Shit was scary as hell. Looking like round 200 and COD zombies. But instead it's just a bunch of VVS coolers. I'ma be honest, at this point I was full on glazing. I was out my seat standing and staring at the TV. I thought I was about to witness cinema. Look at how they're sliding down. Had me fully convinced this was gonna be an endgame type fight. Goku and Vegeta hit the double Good. super saiyan. And we saw all this theatrical shit for not even one- Now I think I said this in another video where somebody was talking about this, but I'ma say it again. Where the fuck was these niggas going? Where the fuck was these niggas going? <laughs> Cause if you pay attention, they running straight. These guys over here in this line, get back to it before they power this up. This theatrical shit for not- yeah, these niggas right here, they make sense as to where they're going, especially this guy. You know what I'm saying? They going, Even they going to fight. These niggas is still running straight. They should be coming in the flank. Where are you going for real? But I digress. To be thrown. It was really just a flash and they ended up in Diddy's dungeon. Like, bro, y'all gotta be trolling. No way y'all just pump fake the whole audience like that. And they didn't make up for it either. Now, I'm not saying I watch Dragon Ball movies for the plot, but damn, bro, did y'all even try? Who starts taking energy from Goku and Vegeta, and somehow, this big-ass ship can't handle it. I watch him for the crazy-ass fight sequences and the sick-ass background music. Look at this. This is damn near half the planet, and, that crazy and you're animation. telling me it doesn't have the capacity for two Saiyans? It starts breaking down, and they get free, and- Bro, they, they have the power to destroy whole planets, so, like, yeah. Cooler didn't like that one bit, so he goes full Decepticon and starts chasing after Goku, punching him and then trapping him in wires. He's trying to turn Goku into mince meat, but then out of nowhere, a destructo disc comes along and cuts Cooler's arm off. And not for one second did I believe that hero was Krillin. We see that as Vegeta makes. And not for what? Yo, quit disrespecting my mans, bro. Making my hating ass right, and Goku breaks free. He then takes a small yellow key ball, throws it at him, and destroys him once and for all. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for 494k. We moving. Hey yo, that was dope. Either we, we watched that dope shit here, Pure Facts with Spit, bro. That was a good movie, man. That, that got me in my nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember sitting down watching that as a kid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like when all them coolers came out, I was just like, for real, y'all doing them like that? Damn. <laughs> but nah, uh, man's was on it, man. Call name Super Hat on this one. Throw a like on there, man. That's the take. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media. And I catch y'all next week, fam. Peace. Peace.